Good morning and welcome to my local syndicate. It's, um, it's I mean, you'll, you'll soon see as, we, as we're walking around, it's a lovely place. You've got this main sort of body of water in front of me here. Um, but then just behind, you've got little bays and snaggy sort of areas, channels, bridges, islands, and we're actually on an island right now. Uh, coming up to this, this filming trip, I have been vi visiting the lake. Being on my doorstep is, is lovely. So I've been visiting the lake and to be honest, during the week, it's been, there's been fish showing here, there and everywhere. And it's almost looked like it's too good to be true. And the, uh, the filming was going to be a doddle. We were going to have it in the bag straight away. But as we've turned up, it's, uh, it's almost like a, a switch has been flicked. Not a carp to be seen and uh, no sort of activity. You, you would think there's nothing in the lake. So I don't think we're going to hang around here too much. The, the main plan has been set up base camp here uh, on, on this on our own little island uh, do the do the nights here but then during the day we're gonna try and try and wander around and hopefully find, find a few few fish to go at um, as i said there's there's plenty of areas to look in so it's gonna all well, the lake isn't massive i mean this is a it's a pond really but that's what i like about the place it's intimate and it's it's all close range and if there is anything to go on it's usually quite obvious so uh, yeah, we're going to go for a wander, wander around, see what we can see, and uh, yeah, get back to you if we, if we if we find a nice little opportunity to go out. After hours of walking around and many, many laps and tired legs, finally found something to go on. We had a little walk around this, this bush here on the right, and um, there's one or two carp sitting down there. Oh, fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was quick. Oh, no. <sighs> Oh, that was. Oh, is it, is it gone? No, they're still there. Oh. <laughs> We've been trying for the last three hours walking around the lake, trying to find some fish to go for. I'm tired legs, and uh, I finally found some in the back of this snag. Just sitting, the two fish milling around. One of them is good upper 20 common at least. And um, I thought this is the only opportunity that you're going to get. So I've come down, literally put 30 baits out, cast as close as I can to this tree, which I'm um, hoping it's not underneath. I think it's just got caught around a few pads just in front. Yeah. I think we're out of the danger zone now. So I can... Oh. My heart is <laughs> beating like a bloody drum because of the fish I've seen down there. There's there's good fish down there. I didn't know if it's going to happen because I didn't see no activity. As you probably could guess, that was a oh, just pinged off a lily. That was a, a big surprise to me. So um, <laughs> hopefully get this in and this will be my first carp for the for RG cameras. I'm hoping it's that big big common I'll see down there. Oh, I hate this grinding on the on the lily roots. I can't even walk any further up this bank really. Half of me want oh here we go, here we go. Yeah. Oh, that's a relief. It's not over yet, though, but... Oh, it's a bloody catfish. <laughs> You're joking. <sighs> oh, 
no. I really thought that was a carp. <laughs> That's an instant shutdown, that. Not good. Not good at all. After seeing them carp down there, that was, I was pretty certain that was going to be a carp. Come on, any slimy slug. Ugh. Cloud nine to cloud zero in a, in a matter of seconds. That was. <laughs> Well, that is not what we wanted. Uh, in the middle of the day as well, you understand, you catch them at night, but yeah, proper surprised about that. I'm smiling, but just because of what, what else can you do? <laughs> um, I've just checked around and unbelievably, there's still a couple of fish around it. I think there's even a few more than I noticed as earlier as well. They've gone a bit deeper in the snag, but um, yeah, I have to release this. I'm gonna give it another go, put a handful of bait out again, because. No doubt this moggy has um, mopped up the remains. And then uh, yeah, hopefully I can, I mean, if this didn't scare the carp away, I don't think another casting will, will do any harm. So we'll give it a go and yeah, see if we get another chance. Well, since that cat, we've given it a couple of hours, and I think now the sun's come round behind us. Um, I've had a look back around the snags again since, and to be honest, it's too dark to see anything. I haven't seen any activity for a while now, so I'm getting hungry. Um, I think we're gonna think about getting the vods out for the night, get some grub, and have a well-deserved beer after all the all the walking today and then chill out for the evening and probably try again here tomorrow. I'll put some bait in before we leave and then I think it might be a bit sunnier tomorrow afternoon so it could entice them back in that snag and give it another go and hopefully this next time it'll be a be a carp, not a cat. But like I said, we've uh, got tonight, um, get the spots nice and primed out in, in the main swim where we're spending the nights and then, yeah. Hope for the best, see what happens. After a frustrating couple of hours and um, and a, a, well, a lot of mixed emotions with, with the catfish thinking it was a carp and all that. Oh, we've decided to come round for a bit of a regroup and a chill out before we uh, before we do anything else. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to just talk about some of the fish and what what makes me what makes me keep on coming back to to this particular lake. I mean, um, so I don't think there's loads of fish in here, but the ones that, that are in here, uh, there's there's a handful of real real special ones. Some of them, um, well, for instance, there's a particularly real nice scaly mirror, which has uh, been quite friendly. It's like my mate. Um, I don't know how many times I've had it now. I mean, being a member on here for quite quite a long while, over the years, I must have had it over over 10 times, but I've been quite lucky to, to catch it fairly recently, beginning, beginning of this year as well. And it's like an old mate, it's like he's my pet. Um, so it's yeah, I'm, all, I'm always I'm happy to see any fish turn up in my net, but that one in particular is uh, always always makes me smile. Um, I mean, really, I should just put it back. I only get the net every time, but I've got a picture of it. Every capture has been different when I've had it, so it's just like catching it all over again. Especially with how 
how nice it looks. But um, yeah, well, as you can probably tell, I can go on about that fish forever, but that isn't the only one in here. There's there's a uh, there's ma mainly commons, but a lot of a lot of decent ones. They're all all characters though. There's uh, some some real long ones. There's some big ones. Ones in different shapes and sizes and uh, very few mirrors, but the mirrors that are in, in here uh, are nice and unique. Well, there's a, uh, a lever that goes over 30 pound as well, which, which hasn't been out for a while. So I think a lot of the members are really hoping that anyone catches that just to see how it's doing. And, um, but yeah, that's probably the most sought after fish in here. Uh, of course, there is always a big and the, uh, the big mirror, which, uh, which is on top of a top of a lot of people's list. I haven't had that one for a long while, actually. I, I think I last caught that in 2018. Uh, it's it's got a bit bigger since then, so I'd I'd, I'd love to see that one again. Uh, obviously, I haven't had every single single fish in the lake. I I don't think I'd ever want to. But um, even if I did, I think it it keep me keep me coming back. Uh, but there's uh, there's a few particular ones that I'd, I'd, I'd love to get, um, along with a, a lot of other people who would, would love to get on here. It's just, uh, but it's not all about the fish themselves in here, it's just the, the, the atmosphere of, um, uh, that sounds a bit cheesy me saying that, but the atmosphere of being down here in a sort of lake is, it just makes it feel special, especially when you, if you do get a take on the misty spring mornings, uh, you're sitting there nice and peaceful, dawn chorus, just broken by the sound of a buzzer and, and an old Dara reel with a cut screaming. It's uh, yeah, it's the best, most exciting feeling ever. Um, but hopefully, throughout throughout this session, I can show you at least one example of, of one of the one of the fish in here. Um, I mean, we're having a bit of a break now, but we, I'm going to be determined. But at the end of this trip, I'm going to be pretty pretty tired after after walking around. But if we catch one, it'll be it'll be worth it. So. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best and that's all, 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 all I can do, but still, I'm loving it. It's a lovely day, so I'm, 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 I'm happy. Be quiet. I want to do this so I can eat. Is that it? I think that's it. <laughs> well, we've had a bit of a long day. Well, say long. Time's gone quite quick because we've been busy walk walking around, trying to find fish, spent hours without seeing nothing. Found, uh, I can't remember if I mentioned earlier, but off, we found loads in kind of like an out of boundsy sort of area. Um, which this swim is probably one of the closest to it swims to, but they seem pretty adamant and keeping tight in that, in that out of bounds in the, in the back of the reeds. And um, yeah, we had to look, look around there, look down, and there's the shadows ghosting everywhere and the reeds were folding over us at a bit annoying that they're stuck there and kind of, kind of teasing us. Um, only to be rewarded with a, with a catfish as well. But, um, yeah, like I say, we've, we've, we've worked hard today. I just uh, decided to call it a day with, with the stalking as it's getting dark and I'm pretty hungry. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having my curry. But uh, rods are out pretty, pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping to get one, one or two in the night. I've got uh, where, where I'm fishing now, there's, we're kind of on an island and there's a long bar that, that runs across it. Um, most of the time, they can't kind of swim up and down, up and down that. If you're fishing any further than that, you tend to get quite a lot of line bites. So I'm just pretty much the other side of the shelf. Um, got a rod here and there's a swim. Well, I say swim, it's pretty much a double joint to this swim. I've kind of got them at the same distance, same line, hopefully to pick off any that, that decide to do that. But, um, but yeah, that's all, all, all hoping will happen, but in the meantime, I'm yeah, going to have a, 
nice chicken curry and and a can of beer and then some rest for uh, in preparation for hopefully a bit of action in, in the morning so yeah hopefully next time you see me will be holding up a nice carp so yeah I'm, I'm wishing myself luck anyway Unfortunately, a bit of a bit of a quiet night last night. There was some unforecasted rain, and after that, it was uh, it looked it did look quite good. Like it was flat, calm, like a, like a meal pond, and I just expected to see some random bubblers over the lake, but there's nothing. I mean, we, we noticed yesterday that um, I think the majority of the stock are kind of in an unreachable bit, probably the only section of the lake where where you can't get to. It's all like pretty much an, an out of bounds uh, they're not even feeding in there but they can't all of them be around there so but I'm still still hopeful we might we might snare one I mean the sun's out now it's it's it's, um, it's lovely so it's proper burning rays over, over to that bank um, where we spotted them them fish yesterday so I'm hoping that those fish have come back and uh, Hopefully the catfish hasn't come back to give it any more surprises. I mean, if, if there's nothing around there and we'll have a walk around, we might, I might have a, a move later tonight. I mean, there is a swim on the opposite side that's, that's slightly closer to where they are. So if they do push out there in, in the night, uh, we might have more of a chance, but we'll, we'll see We'll see what happens. But yeah, for now, let's go to reel in and have, have a wonder and, yeah, and see, see, see what we see. That was the most deserving KFC ever. After the amount of steps that we've done today, I think Tom said that we've walked about seven mile or something, and um, around a little pit. That's a, that's a long way back and forth. For that, we tried relentlessly off the top, which was uh, which is always frustrating. You should probably just saw the um, pulling out of that one's mouth, and then couldn't quite see him up bait, and it had actually got it, and then. Even though the float didn't 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 set the hook either, um, yeah, carried on persistent for a while. But it seems like they've died off. So we thought, sod it. KFC have a final moment of rest for ten minutes, and uh, maybe I'll, I'll have another little look around there. But it seems like there's a cold breeze now, and I, I don't think they're going to be around there. So I think it's just um, yeah, we'll have a look. But if not, we'll hope for the best on on the spots for the night. Um, yeah, the weather's completely different now, so it could move them around a little bit. I don't know. I'm just trying to trying to trying to hope and, and wish that something happens. But both after trying so hard, it feels a bit deflating. But all it takes is one bite. If you never know, that one bite might be a really special fish, and that could happen tomorrow morning. So yeah, I'm, I'll I'll be sleeping well tonight, dreaming of a of a screaming take first thing tomorrow. We will see.
How did my day go? Um, I woke up first light. I was walking back and forth. Yeah. And seeing nothing <laughs> until we tried really hard, found some fish, had a go, failed. Had two surface fishing opportunities. And the first time, the carp just didn't want to eat me up, babe. <laughs> every other mixer around it but not me up bait. Second time took me up bait, struck, pulled it out of its mouth. Uh, I like today, the best part of today is probably a KFC and then followed by a beer. <laughs> well, that's a, uh, yeah, we're looking forward. It's a nice evening though. Both rods went out with a bang. So yeah, it's all, all, I, all, all I can do. Hmm. Hope for the best in the morning. Never know new day. Opportunity in the edge. Where are the other side? The wind's changed completely. It feels absolutely freezing over there. Looking over here, the sun's only come out the last half hour, so it looked looked nice and toasty. Just sun beaming through these snags. So I have one little look. Um, happened to track myself around because my legs are knackered, and just look straight down. And there's an orange koi down there, which gave the game away. And I look a bit closer, and there's probably about six or seven of them sitting in this snag. So I've just managed to lower a rod in, rod in as close as I can. It's only a few feet deep. And then get like a, half a handful of half boilies down. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's spooked them. I think it's, I've really quiet. I think I've just pushed back in the snag slightly, but I'm still confident in their ears. So yeah, fingers crossed. This is our last chance of catching a calf in a very difficult session. We've definitely given it longer than than I'd, than I'd want to. There's uh, the carp still in the snags, but they're not not wanting to come out. They're just sat there, like in a row, sandwiched tightly together, sunning themselves in the snag where they feel safe, and they don't even want to move an inch. Even though I've got the got the rig probably only three or four feet away from them, um, it's not enticing them out. They, to be honest, they're not even looking like they want to want to feed. So I think we're gonna. Wrap, wrap things up here, but I, I really like to show you some of the carp in this lake. So we're we're going to come back, give give it another go when um, in the summer when it looks completely different. There'll be pads and weed up everywhere, and hopefully that'll in, entice them into this main sort of bay and not not stuck in the uh, out of bounds or hiding away where where we where we can't get to them. Um, so yeah, we're going to come back then and give it another go and hopefully show you a fish or two. Well, it doesn't seem for like five minutes ago since we're last down here in April, I think it was in the spring. Um, and like, like I promised in, in the first section, the lake will look completely different. It, it's um, it's July now and the lake looks lovely. The, the lilies are all up, weeds up everywhere. The fish are more active in, in the main sort of bay rather than all stuck in the outbounds area like they were last time which has uh, made me feel a lot more confident about filming on this on this, on this second trip. Um, to be honest, we, we've 
been down here all day. Like I've, we've been do, doing bits and pieces, wandering around, just just uh, try, trying to trying to prepare for um, hopefully, hopefully catching a few fish. We've been. I'm, I'm, I'm knackered. <laughs> to be honest, I'm looking forward to chilling out. But when we got here, I was quite looking forward to just sticking the rods out because I've been doing a bit of prep down here, clearing a few swims and all that. So it was kind of all ready to go. Um, like with bait in a few areas and all of that. So, but we had a little walk around um, and we went around the backwater and I was kind of thinking the backwater is just a bit of a bit of a lost cause this time of year when it gets so choked with weed around there and it, and it shallows right up. I've never often seen them around there. I said, I said to Tom, that nah, we, we probably won't even worry around in there because I, I never see them here this time of year. But which a few minutes later, as we walked around, there was three fish just sitting there, just twitching the lilies and cruising through. And then we walked around the other side of the island and there, uh, there was one right in the edge. And then I spoke one under the bridge and I thought, wow, well, this is, uh, yeah, this is a bit, bit, bit out of the ordinary, but we've got, to, we've got to try and give this a go. But of course, where it is so choked with weed, there's no spots at all. So um, yeah, an, an easy afternoon turned into raking spots, pulling some like lily rhizomes out and uh, get, getting some bait down there. And I think it took, uh, half hour before we see the first bit of fizzing on, on, on one of the spots. So yeah, that, that really, really, really lit me up and, and uh, made me feel confident to, to hopefully like get, get a rig in and catch, catch them in the act first thing in the morning. I've given plenty of bait down there to keep them busy throughout the night in case we miss anything. But, um, but to be honest, I'm feeling more confident over there than I am in the main lake, even though this is where I've been doing most of the work recently. Um, things are looking good and I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with how, how we've settled things. So we've got all spots prepped in the backwater, which is literally just behind us. Um, and going from what I've seen in the main lake the far, past few weeks, um, th there's been pl plenty of activity o over the spots I've been prepping over there. So we've got the best of both worlds where we are. We're in the perfect sort of position where, where we're set up. So. Yeah, I think I think it's game on. We, we, any, anything could happen. Anything can turn up. We could we could catch a few. We'll probably lose a couple if we, whatever we do because of because of the weed and the pads at the moment. But that is part and parcel with uh, with, with Snaggy Lakes. But yeah, in the meantime, we're going to have a barbecue. Hopefully, if the rain holds off, uh, have a few beers and enjoy the evening. Watch the sunset as you get over on this bank. And next time. You see us, you might be, might be playing a carp, not a catfish. <laughs> but yeah, I'll catch up soon. Not much to update you on this morning, to be honest. It's um, after yesterday's confidence and seeing a couple of fish and, and things, I thought it would be uh, game on. Uh, we had a big thunderstorm yesterday, pressure dropped right off, and I thought, yeah, it could be, they could be up for getting their heads down. But um, yeah, very quiet night. I think I had one liner in the night, so quite a good night's sleep. But I have been up first light uh, from about, Four o'clock this morning, had a few wonders round, and um, yeah, the lake just looked dead. Pretty much exactly what we didn't want to happen, um, and pretty similar to what happened in the first part. The fish have just just gone, yeah, hiding somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, as I'm sitting there, I've just seen one stick its head out in the pads. No one knew where I'm fishing, but at least we've actually seen something now. Um, there was. A couple of carp that turned up right at the other end. I think they'd, the sun was beating down on that bank and I think they just followed that around there. They didn't look up for feeding at all. I tried catapulting a few mixers out that um, the rod were just frenzying around that instead of the carp. In fact, I think they kind of pushed the carp further out into, into the pads instead. Um, so yeah, like I said, there's not been like those little bits, but not nothing massive to really, really going on to get, get me excited. Um, 
a bit of fizzing over, over this rod recently, but like not on top of my bait. They've been kind of in, in the weed all, all the way around it. I think the spot I'm fishing is very small around there. It's in this small little gravel hole and it's on a slight slope. So with the amount of piranha like rud in here, they're kind of, I imagine in my mind that they're just rolling the boilies down the spot into the weed. And then, um, and the, the carp are just, just busy on that. I've, I've probably just got a single look bait on the spot and all the baits have just been pushed down. So tonight, I think I, instead of just putting round boilies down there, I think I'm gonna put a few halves and some crushed tigers and some whole tigers and, and things like that, just to try and keep things up. Uh, keep things on the spot because there's been at least one carp down nearby down there this morning anyway but other than that I think I'll just go keep on wandering around see if we can find an opportunity I feel like I'm probably trying a bit bit too hard <laughs> made, made it yeah a bit but we're gonna try try our best and got a plan so yeah so we'll see we'll see what happens After a pretty wet, rainy, miserable day, um, yeah, not much, not much to report to be honest. There's not that from lack of trying. We've been, one, I've been wandering around and looking here and there and try, trying to find opportunities. To be fair, the, the fish, we have actually seen some fish today, unlike yesterday, which is waking up this morning with no confidence after a very quiet night to then seeing a fair few fish out in the lake actually feeding as well unable to reach to because they're in thick weed which is probably about seven foot deep of weed this thick thick canadian um yeah after seeing them out there it's at least it's made me feel a bit more confident that they're up for a bit of grub anyway um yeah but we've we've spent a bit of time getting the rod sorted out halfway through rods getting sorted out spotted a few fish well heard a fish show up the other end so i'll quickly run down see one or two feeding um to be honest i think we're a bit too late we did go down and, uh, and have a little go from lower the rigging there was one or two fish lingering around but i think we probably caught the end of the end end of their little feeding spell uh so i did, I did top up the, the spot with bait so there's that spot is still in play we just have to keep an eye on it, luckily it's not too far away. And then, um, yeah, in the meantime, we've, I've spent a bit of time getting the rods out, so they're absolutely 100%. I haven't put any more bait out over there because well, I haven't caught anything, I haven't seen anything show on that on that open water spot. Um, I did have a little go out in the boat on this spot. I did see there was nothing there. I uh, did notice a bit of fizzing on there this morning, so. To be honest, I think a carp did come down and have a few, but I think most of the bait has just been rolled off the spot with, with the rud. So with that, I've uh, just put some, uh, yeah, I've not put any sort of round baits out of there just to hopefully try and stop that happening, keep bait on the spot and yeah, ready for the, ready for the carp to find. That's the plan anyway, but yeah. Second night, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna catch a nice big, mid 30 common i think
that's what that's what happened i've said it it's gonna happen so yeah next time i see you i'll be holding it <laughs>
That scared me to death, that take. I don't know if it's on though. I don't feel very good. I think it might have fell off. I don't know actually. Oh. Ah, still on, still on. Ah. Rubbing for a lot of lily stems. Come on. Man, that is, that is solid for weed. Come on. Here it comes. So many bubbles coming up. Come on. Let's get a bit of weed and you haven't slowly come up. Here we go. Try and net some weed, I think. Is it in there? I don't know if it's in the net or not. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty amazed if this is in here. Ah, fish, it's in there, it's in there, go <laughs> What a bloody load of palaver. Probably about 15 pound and gone through about five tons of weed. Just as we were saying goodbyes and uh, wrapping up the session, as you'd just seen as I was signing off, this little thing caused me a bit of a, a bit of a mare. You, the take absolutely scared the life out of me. I thought it was going to pull pull the rod in, and it went for the, probably the biggest wee bed in the lake. Got itself stuck, and um, yeah, going out the boat for it. I was expecting something a lot a lot a lot bigger than this, but. At the same time, I think you would agree, this is a very cool, small, but very cool carp. So I'm well happy to finish the, finish the session of that. Black as anything, look at it, like proper, proper cool colours. So it's oh, starting to tense up a little bit there, but um, going on from where we finished off, we'll come back in, in the autumn and hopefully come, come and, and catch a few of this one's bigger relatives. I mean, they look like this but three times the size, so that'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. But it's a start and a very really good start. Uh, good morning. I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me because this is the first time I've done any sort of self-filming, but I promised that if, uh, if I was to get another one, I would, I would record it and uh, let me lift it up. I'll be able to show you. There you go. Yeah, proper cool old warrior, this one. It looks so, so much better out there for a bite this morning. It rained all day yesterday. And like, it's like the lake's just come alive. There's fish leaping, leaping all over the place. 
fizzing everywhere. I think I've got a, a chance for another bite so as I'm holding this up I'm gearing out for the rods. Just be put, put this back in the retainer and uh, I'm get another one. Uh, as you can see this one's quite lively so I'll stop recording, take a, take a couple of steals and then, uh, then get it back. And, uh, never know, I'll see the front of the camera again the second fish. One of them immense big comments. Well, as is usually the way, the summer's absolutely flown by, and as if by magic, we're now well into autumn. It's, it's changed completely since we were last down here in the summer. There's leaves all turned a nice golden orange colour. There's all sorts of different fungi growing around and it's, it's, it's a, definitely a, a lovely time of year. Just the, the last sort of signs as it, before it goes into winter. I say um, it's almost winter. It hasn't felt like it today. Almost going into December, it's been a bit strange with the sun beaming down on me. And I've been in my t-shirt most of today. It's felt, it's felt lovely. Because of that, I have gone on this bank where the sun faces. Uh, well, I struggle getting the rods out with, uh, with the sun in my eyes. It's, uh, I'm hoping it's charging up this bank with a bit of heat and the carp will be com coming up and down here. So with a bit of luck, we've got like, the best sort of conditions for our third and final piece for this segment of this, this, this video. I wasn't actually planning to do much, that much down here this year. Oh, I had other plans on other lakes and other targets, but when Greg come to me and asked for any ideas of where to film and I thought this would be the, be the perfect place as it's local to me. I've been on here a long time. Well, you know the story, I've, I've talked about the place plenty, but it's, uh, I'm, I'm glad I did. I really, really enjoy spending a lot of time here this year and, and getting right back into it. And, and it's been nice to catch a, a few old friends again. Because it's a lake that's very local to me, I'm quite lucky that I can pop down after work in the evenings and, and keep an eye on a place, bait little spots here and there. And with the use of the boat, there's, it's definitely a, a big advantage. When you get them hot summer days, it kind of feels like cheating a bit, going out in the boat and spotting where the fish are. Not actually coming down and fishing, but just so I got a, a bit of an idea in my head if the fish have got a routine or certain areas that they like in certain weather conditions. So when it's been, has been quite warm and sunny, I was coming down in the boat when if there was no one else uh, about fishing and just to keep an eye on where, where, and, and see what fish were swimming about as well, seeing what, see what I can go for. Um, and yeah, there was a bit of a bit of a routine. Both ends of the lake are quite snaggy. That end's got quite a lot of reeds and that end's got a lot of overhanging bushes with a lot, a lot of lilies and weed around. Um, and I did notice that, that in those conditions, there was a lot of fish up either end of the lake. Um, but for some reason, at that end, there always seemed to be a lot of fish up there, but they always seemed to be, to be, be the smaller fish. And up the other end, there weren't quite so many, but uh, there were a few, a few bigger ones up there, a couple of big commons, and in particular, the big mirror, uh, which was one I have had before, but since having it years ago, it's gone up um, in weight a lot. I think it's, um, well, it, at the moment, it's, it's about upper 30s, which could go over, over 40 in, in the winter or in the spring. Um, so, uh, and that, that seemed to have taken up residence up, up that end of the lake. Um, in fact, every time I went out on the boat, I see it down there, and it was always with the same fish. Um, a real, a real night, a fish that was just as nice as the big mirror, if I was to catch, to be honest. It was, um, one that I, what I call the, the ancient linear. It's a, one of the few originals that are in the lake. And as you can imagine, it's crusty, old as the eels, a proper, proper nice, nice carp. So yeah, and that was seemed to be its mate. It was always hanging around. The big mirror has always been known as like a lone fish, but for some reason that seems to adopt, have adopted that one. And it's just been following it around everywhere. Um, so I decided to target that end of the lake for, for a bit. The good thing about that end of the lake, there's a few swims next to each other and you, and you can kind of 
pant yourself out um, around that end. Around that end. Uh, so it gives, gives me plenty of options. So, um, of course, I had a, a rod towards that corner. I found a nice little strip of sand. Um, and going in fairly heavy with the bait all the time, it's not really a thing that people do down here. A lot of people lay fish over, fish over little traps and things, but I find that it seems the more you put out in here, if they're on it, the more you catch. Um, so regardless, I'd always put a fair bit out, at least a couple of kilos. And, um, and from the off, as soon as I decided to go down there, I uh, started catching a fair few fish. I think the first time I had four fish in a couple of nights. Um, a couple of smaller commons, which there's plenty of in here, but they're always nice to nice to get a, to get a bend in the rod. And not that they're bad fish, they're, they're they're always I'm always happy to see anything turn up in my net. But um, amongst that that catch of a few fish, I caught the uh, one known as the long common. Um, it does go over thirty occasionally, but it was very spawned out. Um, I think that was. I think I did weigh it, but it was around about upper twenty. I see it went over thirty, so I didn't weren't that bothered about reading the scales properly. So I just you know, I think it was an upper twenty or something. Um, but it's a it's a real cool one. Um, like it's it's a real real long sloping head. Uh, but as you can see from the photo, it's 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 real. It was real spawned out. But yeah, they were a real nice one, and um, it wasn't the big mirror or the ancient Lynn, but it was. It was still a nice one, and uh, I come down the following week and done the exact same thing, um, and picked off a few more carp again. So it seemed to be slowly, it seemed to be working, and and sl slowly ticking off a few, a few more fish. It, it seemed to, like, yeah, like e easy pickings. It was only a matter of time um, before I caught another, another good one. And, and in the week beforehand, I was coming down uh, again. With the with the use of the boat, nice and easy, I can row straight out to the spot, put a, a load, load of bait in, and then every time I did, I would see this big mirror, an ancient lin linear down there. So I definitely knew I stood in the right right area. So yeah, following in from the week after that, I I come down and it was pouring down with rain. It was it was horrible. I, I put um, luckily there's like a like a lean to in that swim, and, you, and the car park's just behind, so most of the time I was sitting in the shed um, so I was yeah, and I had a, a brolly over the front porch of my brolly and it was even though it's pouring down with rain it was still still nice and comfortable and um, especially fishing out the back of the car you can't really ask for much 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 more ease than that it was almost yeah almost, almost too good to be true rather than barren stuff around the lake and getting soaps and things but um, yeah so yeah I was sitting in the site in the underneath the, the shed for a while and um, on the first morning, the rod just ripped off, picked it up, and then as you can, as you've seen from the summer section, the, there's lilies everywhere, all all over, like big beds of weed and, and all sorts of that. So there wasn't much of a fight before it got stuck. Um, straight away, I've got a feeling it was this was a better fish, and um, and it weren't no turbocharged 20 pound common it was it was a it was definitely not going to be a, not a better one so straight out in the boat reel myself down to it and I could, all I could see was these big like pearly scales like oh god like is that is that the ancient linear and then I and then it went down deeper into the weeds and then I had the rain and then the wind pushing the boat further away from the fish and I was trying to row with hand line it and it was all a bit bit of a, a bit of a mess Kind of like, um, yeah, not exactly very smooth, but eventually I managed to handball the fish into the net, and straight away I could see it with this ancient linear. I was like, oh, that's just like that's the that's that's got to be one step closer to the um, to, to the big mirror. But to be honest, that fish is special enough in itself. That's just as much as, as reward as the, as the as the big mirror, which is the main target for a lot of people in this lake. Um, yeah, I was over the moon for that. I did manage to get a bit of uh, very amateur footage of that, so you, yeah, I'll, you'll be able to be able to see that for yourself. <coughs> oh. Oh. Finally got a good one out of here. It's been frustrating last 
last few weeks since the filming, everywhere I've ended up, the fish have been elsewhere, and I've gone there the following time, and they've been back where I was, and it's all been a game of cat and mouse, but I finally managed one I was actually just thinking about this morning, it'd be nice to catch. Uh, it's one of the one of the old originals in the lake, that's the old thing. But, oh, let me show you, show you. Yeah, look at that, proper old car. Uh, perhaps as I was just landed this, I think I'd got done on the other rod. I'd uh, had a few bleeps and I looked out and there's a big whoosh of line, line of bubbles. And uh, yeah, I think I must have got must have got done. So, so I've got two rods to, to recast, but when I'm holding, holding fish like this, yeah, don't, don't really bother me. <laughs> Anything could happen right now. So um, yeah, I mean, the corner that I caught it from, I've been spotting the big one down there recently, and uh, which is why I've been down this end. And um, you know, if I'm open, that picks up the bait next. I've got another night, it's going to rain all day today. Um, so yeah, once I've got my rod sorted out, and I'm going to be hiding away in my brolly, but yeah, but if I don't catch any more, this one's, this one's made me trip, definitely, definitely. Well, oh, I'll get it back. As you can imagine, I was proper made up with that and also massively excited because in my mind, I felt like I was a very short step away from catching the big mirror. Um, so yeah, like soaking wet, everything was drenched. It was a bit, of a, a bit of a mess after that session, but I was really looking forward to getting down the following week. And I think I come down in the week a few times um, after work, looking again on the boat and keeping the spot topped up. And both times I come out, I still see that ancient linear in the same area for where I caught it from. And with it, just like always, was the big was the big mirror. So it's almost like it was, everything was in place. And like when I come down on a Friday after work, I'd see this like the swims were free. I just, I no, no one was here actually. I jumped straight in there. I knew exactly where I needed to be. I think I put out uh, although I baited it a few days before, I put another few kilo um, of a test bait actually um, out out onto the spot. Um, usually putting quite a bit of bait out, I'm not expecting a quick bite. I'm thinking maybe in the night or first thing in the morning, uh, but it wasn't. It didn't take long. I think it took an hour after putting the rod out uh, over a couple of couple of key of bait. The rod that I've that always did go and the one I was expecting to eventually go, just not that early, just hooped round out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, just like, it's almost scary to bite. The rod just bent right around. I was like, so I just quickly run down to it, picked it up, uh, and it was, just, I don't know, half hour before it's getting dark, so it was a lovely time of the day as well, and the sun was setting. And um, yeah, as soon as I did, fish caught it round, right around the, this turbocharged fish just caught it right around the back of this huge weed bed and straight away it was stuck and I could just feel it, I was like, oh no. Um, but with with the nature of the lake, that is that is most of the time you get, like, you're gonna need the boat. Um, in fact, I've been using Braden a lot, which has helped me land a lot of fish from the bank. But for this time, I'd actually brought me other rods, which had mono on the spools. So I could just feel this, feel this fish and it just like, it just, no, it wasn't. It wasn't pulling. Um, so straight away, I got out in the boat, and like usual, as soon as I got close to it, it just come straight out of the weed, but straight into another another weed bed. I had no idea what I had on the end. Of course, I was in the area where I've been seeing that this big mirror, so it's I know there's still a chance, but I wasn't really expecting it. With the speed it pulled off, I honestly thought it could have been it could have been a small common or something like that. So I wasn't getting my hopes up. But when I got down to it and it, over, over the weed, second weed bed that it got stuck in, I started pulling up the line and I'd just see this big head appear. I was like, oh, that's, that's it, that's it. And then straight away, it went straight back down. So I was like, I'm running my line out, out, out of my hand and then it was diving deep. I was like, oh no. And another member was watching me from the bank and he was like, have you seen it? He's like, it's the big mirror. Again, I'd start again, I'd pick up the rod and then reel down to another weed bed that it got stuck in and then, and then grabbing the line again and trying to pull it up. But the wind was pushing towards me. Uh, so it was trying to, it was blowing the boat 
away from where the fish was, so it was, that also made it a lot more difficult. But eventually I managed to get the, get the fish up and then trying to get it in the net because it was around so much weed. I was just trying to scoop my net underneath, but as I was pushing the net towards the fish, it was then pushing against the weed, which was then pushing the boat away. So I was actually just pushing myself further away from the fish. So with, with my mate watching from the bank, it was, uh, yeah, like it was, he was obviously having a bit of a laugh at me. <laughs> but eventually managed to get it in and I was like, yeah. And, and then, um, so yeah, just rowing it back. I thought, to, because this fish, for some reason, it tends to come out at, at night a lot. So I was, I was excited to like, hopefully get some daytime shots. Um, and as my mate was on the bank, I, I knew that he'd be able to help me. So as soon as I got it in the net, I um, row, rowed it back and then got my camera gear ready and that obviously in a big rush and, and the excitement was making me all, all in a fluster anyway. Um, and then, yeah, got, got some like last light, very grainy pictures of it. Uh, but yeah, I started that, that session off on a, on a massive high and that really just capped off, capped off my year on here. But I've, I think uh, I've counted up the, uh, fish I've landed this year I think I'm up to 33 which is probably just over half the stock I think although I've caught some real nice ones I think I've been a bit unlucky with the size there's a handful of real nice big commons in here that I would I would, I would love to get um, and they haven't really been out I've, I have spotted them here and there as well I've spotted a couple in this corner but they've, they've not really been caught I think only one of them has been caught this year so that always feels like they're all to play for still. Um, and although like that, that mirror has, has capped off my year, I'm still going to come down here. We're, we're down here now filming, so there could be a chance I'll, I'll get one of them tonight. But, but all, all in all, it's been very, very enjoyable, especially coming back to a bit of an old haunt. Although I've been a member on here continuously for years, I haven't really spent a lot of time here in recent years. So it's been a real nice, real nice coming back and getting in tune with the place again. And, and catching, like I said, like I said, catching some old friends and that as well. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see how tonight goes in this session. We might might have one of those one of those big ones. I have got another ticket going in, um, getting into the winter. Um, not that I'm going to forget about this place. I'm still going to spend the odd night here. But we'll see what a, what a new chapter opens up. But for the time being, the sun's setting over here. The wind's picking up now, as you can see. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see what tonight brings and tomorrow morning, and hopefully we will have a nice fish to finish off with with the this last bit of last bit of filming. It's been yeah, it's been been fun. I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, yet again, nothing to report. It, it seems, um, yeah, when, whenever the cameras are about for me, the, the carp get shy and they, they bugger off somewhere else. But still, it's been, it's been another in, enjoyable session. It's been nice sitting here in, in the sun. It's almost like I've been, we're back in the summer again. Um, I'm gonna fish here, fish here another night, just in case the, as soon as the, the carp hear word that Tom's gone, they're gonna, Come out and feel like oh, it's safe to come for, come out for a feed now. So if I catch anything, maybe well, hopefully Tom will put something at the at the end of this video. Um, as I mentioned, it's been really enjoyable for me coming back to a bit of an old haunt and, and catching a few carp along the way and and capping off the end of my summer with with the lakes big and as well. I couldn't really couldn't really ask for more than that. But I hope you've enjoyed watching me throughout the seasons as much as I've enjoyed spending time down this lake again. Um, I'm going to go on to pastures new now and, and fish a new lake that my tickets just start out and see what adventures that holds. So yeah, hopefully catch up soon. <laughs>